Mickey Rig Senko. Nice little bass. Oh, sorry, I said wacky rig. This is actually a drop, drop shot Sanko. Nice little bass. <laughs> little curvature issue going on in his back. But yep, that was on a drop shot uh, black and blue Sanko. So we're gonna continue throwing that in deep water. We're gonna see what's gonna happen. And he's off. But yeah, this is what we're throwing. We're in shallow water, so it's kind of a shallow uh, drop shot setup. And I actually didn't plan on throwing this and I only brought one Sanko. I've only been throwing this for about five minutes and it seems to be working out pretty well because that was my first fish. So, probably gonna have to head back to the car here in a second and get more Sankos before I do anything. Quick pit stop, dropping off these that I really don't need. Picking up some Sankos. I'm just gonna stick to Sankos today. That's what I know, that's what I'm gonna stick to. And in a little bit, I'm actually gonna throw a hollow body frog. For the first time this year, my Senko box. This is my half of my Senko box. Here's my other Senko box. All right. So, gonna run some black and blue. Grab two of those. I'll grab two each. Two black and blue and two pumpkin. Actually, one pumpkin, one pumpkin chartreuse tip. I got the second fish on right now. A little bit bigger. Feels feels really good. He just jumped like crazy. Man, I wish I would have put the chest rig on. This is a good fish. Yeah, that's a nice size. Just like that. And again, on that drop shot, wacky rig, Sanko drop shot. A nice size fish. A little bit bigger than the last one. Really happy with that fish. I better put the chest rig back on so I don't miss any more action. I'm just going to stick with this rig now and just keep fishing the same area for now. I'm in a really good spot. I'll show you after I put him back. All right, so that black and blue Senko is doing a really good job and I'm gonna stick in this area. Um, a little stream kind of flowing in from the road here and then it leads out into the chop itself. So I'm thinking this water is a little bit warmer. It's still a little cold water right now. So I'm thinking this water is a little bit warmer uh, feeding into the colder water. I think the fish are more attracted to this area. I'm on just a little sand reef right here right now, just chilling with the kayak and uh, I'm gonna keep throwing that. That was about my third cast with the black and blue Sanko, and I'm just gonna keep going with that. I'm gonna put the chest rig on right now. I was taking it off because I didn't want crazy tan lines, but eh, it's whatever. If I get better footage, it's it's all worth it. All right, guys, just moving spots really quick. Headed up river. Gonna check out these lilies up here, and there's also a duck blind I wanna hit. That's probably it for this session. About to back this up, grab the kayak, and uh, head back to my room. I have some weekend footage I still have to edit. I'm gonna put up a competition between me and a couple of my buddies, it's a lot of fun. So definitely check out that video, and then I'll put this one up probably before, I'm not sure yet. But yeah, I'm gonna load up the kayak, get out of here, get back to my room, shower. It was for sure yet another beautiful day on the chop today. First time actually catching fish on the chop this year. Water's getting to that uh, temperature where I can start actually have fun bass fishing. And I'm sure that hydrilla is gonna grow in really soon here at the chop. So let me get this up and I'm out of here.